I have seen a lot of people making slide like this. For example, here the earth is title and we have the photo of it. And similarly for moon. But instead you can make slide like this. So now let us see how to make the super stunning video step by step. So first of all let us take a background which really suits our theme that is the, the photo of space. So we will right click on the slide, go to format background and we will go to picture or texture fill where you can insert a file from online pictures or if you have pictures stored in your PC then you can select that from uh, your PC also. Really cool. So the next step is to have the earth in our slide. So instead of inserting a picture, let us add a 3D model. So you can uh, find 3D model in the insert tab in the group of illustration. There is a 3D model button. Click on that and uh, search whatever you want to uh, add as a 3D model. So let us have Earth in our mod in our presentation. And we will take this one so now the difference between an image and a 3d object is that you have a button of uh, rotating an object for example you can rotate earth from here you can make it bigger as you want so now first of all let us zoom out of this slide move this earth Let's make it smaller and move this to the side of this presentation so that we cannot see them in the first slide. So basically we are trying to apply morph transition plus the object which we have as a 3D object, the earth. Now let's have a text over here. So let me just insert a text box and write the earth. Let us make it bigger around 200. Let's change the font size. You can choose whatever font size you want. And as the background is black, we can choose the font color the lightest as possible. So I took white. Now let us convert this text box into an object. So to convert this, let us take one another uh, shape called rectangle. Let us make it over here, uh, no fill and no outline. Now I'll select this and the text box, I'll go to format shape and I'll select intersect. So now the difference is, it is now converted to object so I can stretch it, whatever the shape which I want to take. So now I can treat this uh, text box as an object. I can change the fill if I want, but let me I uh, just have the fill as white and uh, let us make this uh, a bit far from let us put it here now I want this earth to move here and uh, this text box to be over here in the next slide so what I'll do is I'll duplicate this slide by pressing ctrl D and in this second one, I'll place the earth over here, make it somewhat bigger, like this. I'll rotate a bit and I'll put this earth right over here and make this as front so that this earth Xbox will uh, go to the back side. Now let me select both of these and go to transition and apply morph transition. Now if I uh, preview this, what I can see is right. So the next step is to add moon. So let us go to insert 3D models and let's have moon.
and let me place this moon right over here making it a smaller and i'll press control d by going to slide number 2 so that we have the third number of slide let me just move this text box aside and the earth let us zoom in a bit and uh, rotate something like this and let us place this over here and let us have our moon Let us press Control D again, and let us have this. Let us move this Earth aside, and making the moon a bit bigger. let us have a text box now you can add text box as we added previously but uh, make sure that you make the text box as an object by merging it with the shape so that we can have more transition in it So now we are ready with our moon also. So now let us see what we have made. So friends, this is how you can add 3D models to a presentation and make your presentation super awesome. So now as a part of this video we are back with the quiz and the question is where can you find the animated 3d models in powerpoint and the options are given below so you can comment your answer in the comment box and if you like this video please share and subscribe